G'day mates. I want to share with you a post from our private Facebook group and this post is from Bert. G'day Bert. Thanks for your contribution buddy. I really appreciate it. Now Bert's a man of few words but I do like his style. He writes, 3G networks are shutting down in 2022. All three major cell phone carriers are retiring their 3G networks to make room for faster 5G speeds. And that was it. That's all he wrote. Left it there. A very cryptic post from Bert. But as soon as I saw it, it grabbed my attention. Turning off the 3G network doesn't sound like a big deal, but it could potentially impact a very large amount of ResMed AirSense 10 users, and I'll explain why. So many of you will already know that inside the AirSense 10, you have ah, this component. It's a cellular modem. And the cellular modem is responsible for sending and receiving data between the My Air app, but also ResMed's AirView, their cloud-based patient management platform where they can remotely monitor your therapy, but also make changes to your settings if they need to. Can you hear that crow? <laughs> These two crows driving me bonkers. <laughs> anyway, uh, where was I? They've really screwed up my train of thought. Now, the AirSense 10 has been manufactured for a long time. It's quite an old machine. They first started producing it in 2014, so seven years ago. And when they first started making it, 4G was only just sort of being rolled out. So they were utilizing 2G and also 3G using CDMA. So a lot of the older ResMed devices have 2G and 3G modems in them. 2G is already gone, um, so they're relying on a 3G network. And nowadays it's mostly 4G, but Andrew on the post thread, he also mentioned that some new ResMed devices are also being manufactured with 3G modems due to the shortage in 4G modems. So even now, there's some machines being manufactured with these 3G modems in them. So potentially when the 3G network gets shut down, that could potentially impact the way that the ResMed devices uh, transmit data between the app and the AirView platform. You're still gonna be able to get the data to your SD card. It's not gonna have any impact on that. It's not gonna impact your machine. Your machine's not gonna blow up. But if you rely on the My Air app and you enjoy that, and you also have a clinician monitoring you from remotely using the AirView platform, then if you have a 3G modem in your device, you could potentially run into some issues. I'm not a telecommunications expert. This is beyond my level of expertise but it's certainly something to be aware of. And I'm gonna quickly show you now how you can determine what network your machine is using. So whether it has a 3G modem in it or a 4G modem or CDMA, whatever it is, I'll show you how to determine that. And also then I'm gonna quickly show you as well how you can disconnect the modem, how you can switch it off so that ResMed can no longer spy on you. They won't have access to your data. And then we'll go from there. All right, let's do it. Okay, so if you wanna find out what cellular modem your AirSense 10 machine has, what network it's gonna be using, you can find it just down here. You can see that says Air 10 4G, and it's got the little cell tower there. So this is a 4G one. The cellular modems that they use, they do have the ability, most of them, to fall back 3G if there's no 4G available. So I'll quickly just show you the, the cellular modem. So this is the cellular modem here. That there is your antenna. So that sort of picks up the signal. And this part here, where it says Cinturon, that's your little cellular modem card that connects to the cell tower. So if you want to deactivate your cellular modem, so that your data isn't connecting with ResMed's servers. You can turn it into flight mode. So just through the settings in here, go into flight mode, switch flight mode on, but it's a little bit annoying because it constantly asks you if you want to turn it off. Um, otherwise, you can just take the faceplate off. It's really easy to do, watch some of my other videos. And then all you need to do is really just disconnect that little cable there and you've deactivated the cellular modem. The machine will still function as normal. You just won't be sending any data to ResMed servers. Pretty cool. Now the cellular modem does just 
you can just pull it out as well. So if you just want to get rid of it altogether, you can just throw it out. Or potentially if there is a problem and they do shut down the 3G towers and it no longer works, maybe you could just get, you know, I know Resmed doesn't like selling components, but maybe you could get yourself a 4G version of this and then slot it back in, connect it back up and you're good to go. So just before I go guys, I do wanna let you know that I'm giving away a stack of these ResMed AirSense 11 machines. They fell off the back of a truck, I've got hold of them, and I'm giving them away. Now the first one is on our private Facebook group, so if you wanna be involved in that, jump on over there, private Facebook group, links in the description. That's where you're also gonna find great information, like on the 3G stuff, that's where I get all my information from, all the members on that great group. So head on over there and sign up. I know not everyone uses Facebook and that's fine. I get not many people like old Zuckerberg or Fuckerberg or whatever you want to call him. So the next one I'm going to do on the YouTube channel to all my subscribers. So thanks for watching guys. Keep an eye out for that. And um, yeah, look out for one another. Sleep well and I'll see you soon. And watch out for those 5G towers. Only kidding. Have a great day. See you soon.